All right, welcome to this short video on a shortcut for printing from the model view. The professional way to print is from a layout view where you can be inside of a title block, but this is a great shortcut for submitting your work throughout the quarter as you're just practicing assignments and moving forward on your project. And so right here I have a drawing of a two-story tiny house that I created. You can see a set of stairs heading up, breaking off on the first floor and continuing on the second floor up to a loft and a second loft with a ladder. And if I want to print this out, say for my assignment, here's how we're going to do it. Take your mouse pointer and head on up to the A that's in your upper left corner. And if we click on that, we're going to see we have an option for print. Now, if you hold print long enough, a long drop down menu comes, but the very first choice is plot. And you can either select plot from the drop down list, or if you simply just click on the print button, it goes to the default first choice, which is plot. And we're going to get the plot model dialog box. So there's a few things that we need to do in here. For now, don't worry about your page setup because we're not using layout view, but we do want to print to PDF. We have two choices. We have Adobe PDF, and if you're synced up with Acrobat, this will work great. We also have DWG to PDF. DWG is the extension for any AutoCAD drawing, and so this will just take your AutoCAD drawing and convert it to a PDF. So I'm going to select that as my printer. Now, the other thing that's really critical is that you actually make sure that your plot style table does not say none. We want this to say monochrome, and that's simply because you're right now printing a drawing that has color. We can say yes, assigned all styles. But if you have yellow lines or the, or the green lines and you try to print it on a black and white printer, they're just not going to show up. So choosing monochrome then assigns a single color black regardless of the pen color on the screen. Right now, finally, we have two choices um, because our paper size is already eight and a half by 11, so that's great. So then we have two choices of, we really wanna pick of what to plot. Under here, there are four choices, but the two we're gonna be concerned with the most are display or window. So I'm gonna start with display because that's what's default. And because we have a lot of space by display, it's gonna to try to do every bit of the screen you have displayed. And so if I preview that, we can see we have a ton of white space and that's not really an easy way to see our drawings. They're very small. So we want to find a way to plot or print that allows us to be a bit closer zoomed in. What you also might notice is how when you're looking at this or if someone else is looking at this, would they know it's your drawing? So we also want to take a moment and see how we can quickly add a line of text where we can put our name, the class, the date, and what this project is before we print so that's on our document and on our PDF to submit. So press the escape key. And in this case, go ahead and just press cancel because we want to go add that text in. All right, so to actually do the text, you can just start typing the word text. It will show up in your command prompts. The first thing it's going to ask you to do is specify a starting point. So I'm just going to click right above my second story. Then it wants a height of the text. Remember, everything in AutoCAD is drawn true scale. So if we want our text readable against a structure that's eight foot six by 22 foot on the outside, if we only have quarter inch high text, we'll never be able to see that. So you want something that's at least six inches, maybe eight inches tall. So I'm just gonna type six, enter to have a six inch text. I don't want my text rotated. I want it horizontal across the screen. So I'm gonna say zero. So just press enter to accept the rotation angle, and then I can just start typing. So Dr. Tanya Nilsson, I might put a few spaces, CNG 7L for the lab, a few more spaces, tiny house drawing, and then a date. So September 27, 2020. And if I press enter, it does take me down the next line. I don't necessarily need another line, so now I can press escape and I have my name now on my drawing as well. So it's gonna look a little more professional. So we're gonna go back, let's plot again. So we'll click on the A, press our print. It brings up our plot dialog box. We need to change to our DWG to PDF. Again, Adobe PDF, if that works for you. Um, but DWG PDF is a solid choice. Verify you're on monochrome and then now we're going to change our display to window and we can use our crosshairs to click and drag and say this 
is all we want to have printed. It will scale it to fit the drawing. I'll click again to enclose the corner. Just to make my plot prettier, I might say center this on the plot. And then I'm going to choose preview. You can see this is a much larger, much nicer drawing. Press your escape key to get out. And then you can simply choose OK. It should actually bring you up to your documents. And hopefully, if you haven't been saving, you've created a CEMG7 lab folder inside of your documents folder, and then you can put in a tiny house model name. Looks like I've done this already, so we'll just call it two. And it should also display your drawing for you, and what's really nice is that it's showing you that it's actually saved under your name in the DC, in the design, on the computers for the School of Engineering, so you'll have access to this remotely, and you can, from wherever you've saved it, go ahead and log into Camino and upload the file whenever you're doing your assignment. But you have a nice neat drawing. Thanks for watching.